All right, we return. So the dried shroom is this bad boy. It's pretty damn cheap. It's gonna be two coins for that dried shroom. Can I buy it? Yes. Thank you, sugar. Saved up enough shark point, sugar. No, even this mushroom. Uh, okay. Better, better not be all. That better not throw me off. That was gonna be twelve coins. Can I buy it, cutie? Yes. Sweetie, looks like I'll oh, sell you something after. Yeah, flubberties. Here to sell. Uh, how about this dried shroom? Uh, is there anything else I don't really use? I have a dizzy. Yeah, I have my dizzy dial. I'm gonna buy another one. Okay. Well, I bought a dried shroom. Now I'm gonna buy this dizzy dial. Thanks, sugar. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister. What color is your mustache? Yellow. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. <clears throat> mister, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Uh-huh, well, you check out, you know, the password. So you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. I'm just gonna wag my tush on over here. You can go through the door and go on with your bad self. This game was made in 2004, maybe. <laughs> Still don't know. Haven't looked it up. Anyway. We're in the Don's office. My god, it's Don Pianta. What's with you, wise gay? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, well, you oughta be. You got some nerve asking for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. But weren't they already crying? Shut up, you! You want I should run this bum out on a rail bus? Look at him, what a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you've got a reason for wanting the ticket for the blip. Out with it! What's that? You wanna help some broad who got herself kidnapped? Ain't to rescue this... And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny is such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue! Don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. You're a ghost, though. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some scud he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? I'm not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter, on the day of a wedding, eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie. Bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them there, then all you got to do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Uh, boss! We don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's cause you lugs can't find it. I gotta ask, gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and a friend. Then come see me. 
Francisca and Frankie look like this. I don't know how I said that. That's an incredibly vivid description I have just given to you. Almost like you could picture them on your own if you were to look right above my head. But yes, such a description could not be captured in mere text form. As such, I am unable to describe what it is I have just said to you for the audience. They should have sent a poet. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Well, let's get the hell out of Dodge. I like that guy. He seemed fun. What a colorful character. I hope I don't have to buy shit every time I come in here. Hmm. So I need to find Frankie and Francesca, eh? Okay. Well, I don't know where to start looking, honestly. Hmm. Guess I could just ask around town. You there, sir. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you about something. How about that? In this town, the boss of the robots and Don Pianta are in a nasty tough war. If you want to live long, you better either choose a side or stay the heck out of it. Didn't help me out so much. Look at this guy who defrauded with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a thumping for me. You don't have any good jobs, do you? You know, work credible pay? Yeah, if you got easy work that pays a lot, I'm your man. I'm all over that. You and me both, son. Uh, Piantas, huh? Is it here? It's locked from the inside. Hmm. Possibly in there, but I don't have the key for it. Who would I speak to about this? I don't know. Hmm. I wonder, because I think... F not Flurry. Um, Goombella. Rogueport's main script. No, I thought she was going to give me, like, advice about the situation. Not just, you know, general advice. Not over here. Uh, blue 300 coins at the parlor. It's not incredibly helpful. Where the hell are the Piantas? Oh, they might be down here. Wait a second. There's another spot in Rowport I haven't been to. Eh, this doesn't look like the satellite dish. That's not expected. Doesn't look like there's any Piantas here, though. Oh, wait a second. Ha ha! Good thing I checked. Anyway, ahem. Hey, back off, you creep! You want something or are you just sidling up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him. Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try and talk to the boss once more. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francisco, baby doll, if we can just talk calm-like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found this out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie, the more you try and put the flames of love out, the harder they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Wait, so they're gonna be extinguished once you marry me? Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? No way, sob sister. But what did you say to me? You terrible, terrible man! Fine, have it your way. We won't go with you. Never. I won't move from this spot. Alright, sweet. I'll just go tell Don Piazza where you are, then. Easy enough. Oh, whatever should we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. I'm just gonna tell them where they are. I don't have any skin in this game. My skin is getting a ticket. Screw these two. I'm sure it'll work out fine. What is this game rated? E? It's not like he's gonna kill the guy. Anywho. 
back to Don Pianta. They're down by the docks, sir. It was really easy to find them. Your guys suck. Maybe they're on this fixed camera angle like I am and just didn't see them. But still, took me like, I don't know, three minutes of wandering around? Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood. So give, what you got? You know the whereabouts of these two, uh, runaways? Sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Rogue Port Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blink tickets. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods! The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them! Daddy, wait! Wow, that was easy. All right, you two are getting a promotion. That was some quick work. Francisca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry, I truly am. Frankie, so, back you come, head hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy, no, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's Mata. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss, it's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame, right here. Daddy! Boss! Yeah! Enough! Quiet! Both of you! Francisca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. I don't even know you hired you yesterday. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see you mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, bull you! I don't care where, just go! That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying! Go! Do what you want, even if it means getting married! Oh, Daddy! Dad! Uh, no, wait, I mean, uh, boss! Thank you so much, Daddy! Thanks for your blessing! Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise. She'll want for nothing. Enough already, just go! Go! I'm gonna miss those crazy kids. Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats to both of yous. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy! Farewell, thank you! About my tickets... You still here? Oomph! Well, you found my daughter and got him come back here. And just looking at how things turned out, what a complete another soap opera. But, hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. I'm gonna need two from a buddy here. Actually, I'm gonna need four. I got a couple friends. Okay. Who knew? That guy's got a smiling idiot. Yeah, she's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. Now get the hell out of my house. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here! Because the boss is who he is. He can't let people see his sensitive side, you know? But just between you and us, he may him real happy and he's thankful. I was wondering about that guy, because he was like, what promise is he referring to? wonder if I had spoken to him, if he had had, like, uh, I kind of promised him uh, I wouldn't tell anyone where he was going, but I totally knew where he went, so, you know. Maybe keep it on the down low and don't find I ain't gonna help you. <laughs> Through the door, Mario, thank you. Alright. My, my, we've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. Yes, indeed. I got an email. Oh, is this the Rogueport newsletter? Oh, all right. Uh, is it journal? Nope. Uh, gear. Ah, the unread one. Ahem. Mario Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great. Coopley, I believe, is um the girl uh, that we left behind. Like Coop's girlfriend. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. Town seems so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you'd like Petalburg more than you used to once you got back from your adventure, Coops. So I hit it next. I wanna oh, this is the dad. <clears throat> oh, I hit it next. I wanna see the wild world, son. It'll be good for you. Well get too far past the front door. <laughs> from Coopley. 
Yeah, that's me. Ahem. Forgive the uh, misstep. I thought that was uh, his little girlfriend. Uh, it's been a while since I've saved the game. Probably give it the old one-two save. Whoops. No. Okay. Let go to Will be joining us today. He let me take a boarding pass. But please watch your step and step aboard. Yes, sir. What's this way, though? I demand answer. Okay, nothing. What's this way, though? I demand Oh. Well, whatever. We're off to Glitzville! Yay! The glitziest of vills. Groovy. Music. That's a stupid looking blimp. Got a goofy face. Yeah. All right, next chapter. Chapter three? Chapter three! It's just called chapter three, I guess. I might have accidentally skipped through it. Ahem. We're not, we're not getting any closer to Glitzville, I can't help but notice. Okay. After a quick transition, we are there. So I wonder how Glitzville floats. Ah, it's got rockets beneath it. Okay, let's... There you go. Ahem. Glitzville's tinier than I would have expected. Ah, that's more like it. Glitzville, all right. My, 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 Glitzville. I've heard that the Glitz pit is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly-burly gets me a touch peaked. Yeah, I bet. Souvenir shop. Hot dogs. The Glitzville. That's probably the arena. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star. Mm -hmm. Let's get this first, since it's here. Really? Come on. When am I getting the high jump, huh? Uh, Alright, well. Fresh juice. We got a juice bar. What do you do? I wonder. Interesting. We just had a button for that? Power plus! Boost your partner's attack power by one. Rad. Oh, hey! But first... I see it down there. I just don't know how to get to it. God damn it, it's underneath this thing. We... Can I crash into your hot dog cart? I wonder if I can get onto the hot dog cart. There's an item shop. There's a phone. Okay, there's also a star piece. Hi, am I the 987,034th caller? Did I win the free tickets? Yes. Yes, you did. They'll be mailed to you. Anyway. What say you, interesting looking character? So this is Glitzville. Not a bad place if you live on the tawdry side. Then perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. Oh, aren't you fine? I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home, y'all. I'm a hot dog. Ahem, anyway. Wait, wait, wait. I saw you. I like the music outside. Alrighty, hmm. We have a reporting crew. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. Here's savage battles going each and every day. 
Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody's. Move it or lose it. Welcome to Guest Fair. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? Hey, wait, I recognize her. Boy, it's hard to find a guy that's clean, cut, and responsible these days. Sigh! I saw just thinking about him. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Nothing to say to me? Alright. Wow! I've never wanted to fuck a toad before today. Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a man. You sm you're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion Rockhawk. Toodaloo. Darn. I'd like to rock her hawk, if you know what I'm saying. Photographers. Uh, well, we might as well go in, I suppose. All right, a battle. Oh, and there's some people watching. How oh, nice. Oh dear me, what a positive and glorious venue. Oh, Messi Mario, look there, those two brutes are about to have at each other. That's right, Ugh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Oof. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want any more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you heard me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups, then come see Uncle Rockhawk. Give you another world-class spank and send you home crying to mama again. Fight promoter. Hooey, champ! That was a great a whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who could challenge me? No, none can, hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anybody. You Winklies might as well stick to a video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. Ha ha ha. Well. Oh my word. Mario. On that uncouth bird's belt, is that a crystal star? Just gonna hold this up for a bit longer. Yes, I do believe it is. That wonderful sparkle is yet another crystal star. But such a tawdry place to find it. Why would it be here of all places? Well, it's shiny. Oh, whatever shall we do? I don't fancy the idea of stealing that fellow's belt. What shall we do, Mario? Steal the thing! Oh, Mario, you adorable man. You do love a joke. Would do no such thing. I must say, I only see one way to get what we seek. Yes, just one. We must best this champion and take the belt with the power of your machismo. Let's move on then, shall we? Our next step is to become official fighters, I imagine. Oh, my heart is positively thumping. Let's find who's ever in charge this minute. Hey, Mousy, can you steal the belt for me? No, we can't. Alright, well, I mean, hey, maybe this guy in a suit might know. What's that, bub? Do you want to be a comma fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Gubba, the promoter. Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Alright. Just down the hall, you say? I suppose I'll be heading out, then. I assume... I'll just save the game real quick. <coughs> I'll assume it's the last door. Which... Oh boy, there's a lot of doors, eh? Uh, is it this one? No. Crap. Alright, well, that was embarrassing. Uh, I'll just talk to everyone. Is the minor league locker room bub sorry can't go in there? Okay. Sorry, fight is only bub, no one else is admitted. This is a Major League locker room, but you can't go in there. What's that? You want to be a fighter? Alright, go inside. Mr. Grubba's just inside. Nice place. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you, y'all want a rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You wanna be a fighter? 
Who is that to change a thing or two, son? I always got time for an up and comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now play me straight, son. You wanna live the glamorous life of a champ, don't ya? Darn Skippy. All right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. Excuse me, I'm wearing a fedora. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. Uh, are you reading me here, son? Dreams do come true even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at those small dreamers and laugh. Are you reading me, son? Who, me? That's the spirit chief. Let's have us a little walk and talk. Come on now. My name's Mr. Grubber. I promote the fights with my vest and my fedora. Um, the hell is this? Now, how you like this pod? Pard? Yes, feast. Oh, partner. Feast your eyes. Go on. This. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. Come, you become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and the screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Ah. Meanwhile, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Told the sanitary to. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Meanwhile, back at my office, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't no world champ. But there ain't. <clears throat> there ain't but one world champion. Claw on your way to the top and taking the belt to become the champion, Tony's a hang. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there was no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, Pod. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, well, one other thing. Yeah, you gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Or just drop your name here, okay? Sign me up. You sign the contract without reading it. Best thing I've ever done, son. Now, your Mario ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pa, it lacks a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me. How about Mighty Mario? Let me see here. Bam! Hooey, I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzalez. Oh, ain't that better? Ain't that a beaut? Dang, if it ain't a stroke of genius, a name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon. He's turned into like an evangelical preacher that you see on TV. Televangelist, as they're called. Everyone will soon bow before the great Gonzalez and make him a proud son. Well, now that we got that business out of the way, Jolene, could you come in here a minute, darling? Why do I keep wanting to fuck toads this episode? Yes, sir. You wish to see me, sir. Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league locker room already. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. I like her. Blonde hair, sassy. I can tell already she's sassy. As you know, you're a contract fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubber says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Grubber releases you. Wait, what? There are many other small guidelines I'll explain. They become relevant. Well, this is kind of a dump. Here we are. This is your locker room. 
You're starting in the minor league, of course, and you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. Fair enough. Thanks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubber will decide who your match will be up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A, then pick Reserve a Match. Sure. Welcome to Automated Match Reservation System. What is your command? I kind of want to view the rankings, actually. I love that sort of shit. Well, howdy, Gonzalez! Ready to get your fists dirty? Huh? There you go, son! I got a treat for you! Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros! Don't worry about them, they'll be a piece of cake! Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once! You got any questions about the detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pod! Okay, your battle's reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting's pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. You beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking goes up. Then again, if you lose to a low-ranking opponent, your rank goes down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubber sets a fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher-ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. 11?! How many fights do I have here?! That's about all you need to know. Did you understand all that? I thought I'd do this like five times. I have to get to rank 11? Jesus. Okay, good. For now, just wait until Mr. until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Let me view the... Whoops. Yeah, your match is now reserved. Good, my bros. Yeah, yeah, I appealed to the crowd once. View rankings. Not that it matters now, but right now you're ranked the bottom. 20? Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 I do believe I'll get my regular stroll soon. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Can I save the game? I'd like to... I'm going for 31 minutes here. I, mean, I gotta... Well, I'm gonna end the episode, and when we come back, uh, I will take on the Gonz... or the Goomba Bros. So until then, thanks so much for watching. I've been Token. Talk to you later. Shooting our shit. See you around, Ass Clans.